YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video man to the New Orleans Pelicans remember when we thought this team was about to be like an AFC last year so we thought you know what maybe this team coming in is about to be a playoff team this year and unfortunately that's not the case they suck they are a mess right now and uh going into the offseason we kind of knew that the Pelicans had a very bright future but then David Griffin made some moves that were just a little it's a tiny bit questionable. The team built around Zion and Brandon Ingram is a mess. Those two are your franchise caliber players, I'd like to think. So what is going on around them? There is not any spacing at all around those two guys in the starting five. It just doesn't make sense what the Pelicans are doing right now, which is why I'm here to fix that. So uh, if we're getting this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And YouTube's been telling me that 60% of you watch these videos aren't even subbed, man. So hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for 16,000 subs. We just reached that milestone yesterday, I believe. But other than that... Let's fix the Pelicans, man. They're a mess. So there's already been rumors swirling that the Pelicans are taking offers on Lonzo Ball and now JJ Redick, obviously, because JJ Redick is 36 years old and there's no point of him to stay. So if they can maybe get something for him before he leaves, that would be ideal. And then Lonzo Ball just doesn't fit here, really, uh, next to Brandon Ingram and Zion. I mean, look at this. So Ingram and Zion, or well, Zion's not much of a shooter. Brandon Ingram's not bad. Well, don't get me wrong. He's not uh, like he's not the guy. He's not like no JJ Redick, but he's a good three-point shooter. Don't get me wrong. But everybody else, Adams, Bledsoe, streaky at times. I mean, they're just not a whole lot of make. There's just not a whole lot of sense around your two franchise players. So that's what I'm here to do. I want to change that. So I would not be surprised if this team was good as I simulate. I'm actually going to simulate to the trade deadline, and we're going to see how things go. But I would not be shocked if this team was a playoff team in 2K. But in real life, as we know, they are kind of a mess right now. But at the trade deadline, I'm trading Jay Jaredic and Lonzo Ball and whoever else I have to trade for damn sure, no matter what. Even if we're literally the first seed in the West, I'm still trading those two guys because, like I said, I'm here to build them. I'm here to fix them. And I want to fix this team uh, as it just isn't constructed well at all right now. And, and like I said, I wouldn't be shocked if we were good and we're the second seed in the West right now. But we all know that is not the reality in real life. So I know our... Sh I know our record is really good in 2k right now but we all know in real life it is not so i what I, I still want to change things obviously so uh alonzo ball jj reddick are guys i'm 1000 percent trading if possible here so let's just go ahead and get started from the tippity top i'm gonna start with alonzo ball i don't really know where i should trade him to but i just know the pelicans don't inter don't seem to be interested in resigning him so if we could grab him Trade him to somewhere that would give us a shooter and a pick or something. That would be great. So, like, the Clippers want to give me Luke Kennard. The Clippers have wanted a point guard, so maybe that could make sense for Los Angeles. Could do something like that. Uh, we get a shooter and Luke Kennard, and we also get a first-round pick. But Luke Kennard is making a little bit more money than I'd like to uh, pay him. So, we'll keep looking just in case. So, Miami wants to give me a first-round pick. Uh, we got the Jazz. We got the Kings. We got the Knicks wanting to give me Mitchell Robinson. Uh, Paul Millsap, Doug McDermott, Pistons, Mark's Cousins, the Spurs, first round. Okay, so there's some interesting offers here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think the Clippers one makes the most sense because we get a shooter and a first round pick. But I kind of want to uh, see if the Knicks want to offer me something. So I don't really want Mitchell Robinson from them. I don't feel like that's something they should do. But I feel like New York would be a good landing spot for Lonzo Ball. So if they could get us like uh, a good shooter, they have Robert Covington right now as well. Um, but the Knicks don't really have a young shooter that I would be interested in really. So maybe just maybe we just go to the Clippers trade and deal with it. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to trade Lonzo Ball to the Clippers. We're going to get a really good shooter in Luke Kennard, uh, which like I said, he is going to be a good shooter and we get a first round pick for Lonzo. So definitely going to 1000% do that trade. I know we are paying Luke Kennard at the end of the day, which sucks a little bit, but it is what it is. So now JJ Redick, you are next. We are going to go ahead and trade you as well. And uh, preferably we'll take anything here. Like if the Hawks want to give me Tony Stone a second round pick, if we can get a second for JJ Redick, I'm all for it man i just want to get something for the guy uh that might be the move we do the first one i just saw mike muscala beverly Derek jones jeremy lamb robin lopez yep i'm gonna do this trade uh tony stone's gonna walk in the offseason but we at least get a second round pick for jj reddick so that is at least getting something for jj reddick before he walks in the offseason so everybody else eric bledsoe is somebody i definitely don't want to keep for the time being either uh, but when you look at his contract, it says he has a team option in 2022. So really, he's on like a two-year deal right now. Unless if you want to keep him for the three years, he is owed. But uh, I do not. And then uh, the Pelicans also extended Steven Adams. So yeah, that's kind of just going to be a thing. I don't really know what we're going to do with him. Because uh, I don't like him next to Zion or Ingram either, to be honest with you. But 
Bledsoe I for sure don't like. So let me go ahead and see if there's anything out here. We're just kind of selling at the trade deadline. Even though we're the second seed in the West right now in 2K, we are still selling because of the record in real life. So um, honestly, I don't really know what I kind of am looking for here for Bledsoe. And I don't really know what team would want Eric Bledsoe. Uh, but like the Nuggets want to give me Will Barton and Vlado, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. So Davis Bertans in a second, Rudy Gay in a second. Uh, we could get just a second round pick from the San Antonio Spurs. Gay will walk in the offseason. I guess we could do something like that. Um, Timberwolves, Derek Jones and a pick. They got Jeremy Lamb. I guess we'll just do that. Trade. We're going to do Rudy Gay and we're going to get a second round pick for Eric Bledsoe. So yeah, we've kind of just got some picks. We've acquired three picks. So you have Kara Lewis starting, Josh Hart starting now, Ingram, Zion, Steven Adams, Rudy Gay, Jackson Hayes, Nikel, and then yeah, the, the rotation's a little bit of a mess right now, but we traded some of the guys we didn't really want. I don't really want Steven Adams any, e, anymore either, but I'll probably wait the offseason to make some decision on that, but all I know is, in the offseason, I want to get shooters. Shooters, shooters, shooters. Of all my trades at the trade deadline, we still end up as the third seed in the Western Conference, which I don't know how, but hey, we're the third seed. I would have preferred to have a lottery pick and, you know, see what I can do in the draft. But, you know, uh, you know, playoff experience is cool as well. So when you go look at the player stats right now, we have 28 from Zion, 24 from Ingram, 13 from Rudy Gay, 11, 11. Uh, Kira Lewis Jr. is an interesting prospect. Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Luke Kennard. So there are some guys I like here. Don't get me wrong. But Gay, Adams, and some other guys I just don't really. And then Jackson Hayes is still here. Willie. And yeah, so we're, we're definitely going to look for some shooting in the offseason. But for now... We are playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are also a mess in real life, but uh, we'll talk about that another time. And we beat them in five, and now we are in the Western Conference Finals. And wow, okay, so we made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals and lost to the Lakers in five. That's interesting, but we did beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. We beat the Phoenix Suns, and the Lakers lost to the Bucks in seven. Okay, interesting. Now we'll get into the offseason and start what we want to do. So now going to the league meetings, uh, we have plenty of first round picks too to use as well this offseason. Like we all know the Pelicans are loaded with assets. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I am questioning some of the moves they made uh, as we are projected a lottery pick here. Uh, for some reason, the Clippers didn't make the playoffs, which is crazy to think about but uh let's see what we can get here as we end up with number six via the knicks is that is that right okay i, I like that uh maybe that was the knicks pick actually not the clippers pick so the knicks pick goes to us at number six and the knicks also get number one. Oh, they probably swapped it that's probably what it was and the knicks get number one we get number six so i guess we do have a lottery pick here from the lonzo ball trade which is kind of a highway robbery if you ask me but what it is what it is so Stan Van Gundy, a lot of people have been questioning whether he is the right fit for the job, but I think I'll give him one more year just because he was literally just hired. So I'll give him and his coaching staff one more season if things uh, continue. I mean, we literally just made it to the West Conference Finals, so I guess I can't knock him too much. But still, it's kind of weird balancing the real life, what's going on and what's happening in 2K as I'm trying to do this rebuild. But we have two first round picks and three second rounders. So um, what I want to do here is I think... Luke Kennard, Carol Lewis, Jackson Hayes. So honestly, everybody here I like other than, like I said, Steven Adams. So if there is a center needed team, like maybe the Toronto Raptors that want to, you know, that want him, I would not mind shipping him off to Toronto if they want to do something like that. They want to give me Ricky Rubio and the 22nd pick in the draft. Um, No, I'm not interested. Derek Favors uh, from the Suns, Al Horford from the Thunder. I mean, Al Horford would be a better spot floor spacer than Adams but still it's just still not really there Malik Beasley uh, from the Wizards Pat Connington uh, I'm not sure I like any of these trades Clippers uh, maybe the Clippers want to get better at the center spot Zavika Zubac we get a you know what that gives us about 10 million dollars in cast space sure why not we'll do that trade so now going into the draft we have the six picks so I want somebody uh, I mean I'll pretty much take whatever here so we got Jalen Johnson at the power forward. We already have forwards, though. Jalen Suggs at the point guard. Ooh, I kind of like this, though. 36% from three. I don't think I can pass this up. Jalen Suggs, welcome to New Orleans, man. You are going to be a perfect fit at the point guard. A perfect replacement to Lonzo, of course, as well. And then um, we'll probably just draft, like, uh, I'll let the CPU deal with whoever they want to draft there. So we get Jalen Suggs with the sixth pick. Uh, we could have taken uh, Jalen Johnson, but we already have forward, so I didn't really want to do that trade uh, or do that. Uh, so, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. We got a point guard of the draft. Jalen Suggs, welcome. And they drafted Roman Kaiba, or however you say his name. And we have a couple of good second rounders here, so I'll sign them, I guess. And player options, Wingen Gabriel. And then qualifying offers, we have Josh Hart 
And that's about all I'm really interested in bringing back. So moratorium day, free agency. Uh, we have cast space, which is a good sign because we want shooters. So when we look at the roster right now, we have Kara Lewis and Jalen Suggs, which is cool because I kind of like both of them at my poor guard spot. See what they can do. The shooting guard, we have Nikel Alexander Walker. Definitely could step into that shooting guard spot. Uh, very nice A point or A three point shot. Josh Jackson for whatever re oh wait I'm looking at the wrong team I'm like wait what when did Josh Jackson get here but Luke Kennard Brandon Ingram dope uh Zion Williamson winning Gabriel and then Jackson Hayes and Avika Zubac so yeah the center spot is a little uh off right now neither one of them can shoot and we kind of need a center that can shoot if you ask me so um Nikel, I'm honestly cool I think the biggest need is to definitely maybe get a shooting guard that can shoot a three-point shot other than Nikel. And then maybe get a center that could shoot as well. So that's kind of my priority this offseason. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to get all that from, but we are going to definitely try. So Rudy Gay, we, yeah, nobody, no, we're not really going to be interested in any of the free agents. So, uh, but for free agency, we have uh, like Duncan Robinson, somebody that would be honestly perfect, somebody who could just shoot a lot of threes. Gary Trent Jr., 22 years old. Also, somebody that could be perfect for us if we wanted to bring him in, somebody who could shoot for sure. Uh, Hamdu Diallo, Avery Bradley, Terrence Davis. I just don't know if I want to spend too much on guys like gary trent or duncan robinson i mean gary trent is asking for quite a bit of money and i don't think the blazers would match duncan robinson so those are two guys i'm definitely very interested in now when i go look at the center spot we have guys like jared allen we have sergi baka 31 years old definitely would be he wouldn't fit the timeline of the team but he at least can shoot so that is definitely interesting to take into consideration cousins Cantor, dwight howard javel mcgee cody zeller gorgie dang but i think somebody that the pelicans should try to uh, uh, try to grab if the pacers would be interesting and let him go would be miles turner he's kind of the perfect guy i feel like for this team so i'm going to go ahead and offer duncan robinson and gary trent jr contracts i'll take one or the other i'm not really sure i prefer not to pay gary trent jr the money he's asking for to be honest with you because yeah, he. Sh I mean, maybe he would get that on the open market just because he is such a good shooter. But if I give him like three or 60 million, would he be interested in something like that? I don't know. That, that still feels like a little bit of an overpay, but Gary Trent Jr. does accept. He's a little bit younger than Duncan Robinson. So, yeah, I mean, guys like Joe Harris got paid a lot, too. So maybe this is the kind of money that Gary Trent would get on the open market. But Never mind, we're not getting him. They offered the match, they offered, or they matched the offer sheet. So we are not getting Gary Trent Jr. But Duncan Robinson uh, definitely would be somebody I am very interested in. He's restricted or unrestricted. He is restricted. So yeah, I'm going to pay him a little bit more. That way we can grab him. Four years, 13 million uh, for a shooter. Come on, there we go. So we get Duncan Robinson. He's going to be a really good shooter here. I like that a lot. And then, like I said, the only other thing I was interested in is maybe grabbing Miles Turner from the Indiana Pacers if they would oblige and would be willing to let him go on uh, 2k his uh overall is not that great I'm not really sure why uh but hopefully we can grab him and he could make a lot of sense here so Miles Turner uh what would you want Jackson Hayes and Nikel Jalen Suggs and Zubach okay I like that but I'm not giving Jalen Suggs Zubach and I'll give you I'll also give you um let's say we give you um Let's say we give you a future first because we definitely can afford to give you first. What about this Lakers pick? Would you take this? They don't agree. I'll give you also uh, a couple of seconds and they still don't agree. I'll also give you uh, Ethan Wilcox or something. Okay, so we get Miles Turner, who I think is going to be the perfect fit here. So Miles Turner at the center spot, Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, Luke Kennard, Nikel, and then of course we're getting Duncan Robinson here as well. So I like this a lot. If we can keep Josh Hart, we can. Okay, so never mind. So boom, I like that. Our offseason, I feel like, went very well. We got more shooting with Miles Turner and Duncan Robinson in the starting lineup, which is ultimately ultimately what I wanted to do. So, and then hopefully Kara Lewis and Jalen Suggs can lock down that point guard spot. But I'm excited. I'm very happy with how that first offseason went. And now we can go into season number two with a roster that I feel like that makes a little bit more sense and hopefully we can get right back to where we were as a top seed in the Western Conference. Number two, we come back as the fourth seed in the West. Kate Cunningham, rookie of the year on the Pistons, LeBron, Dinway, six man on the Hornets, Jonathan Isaac, defense player, Anika Nkongo, most approved, and Monty Williams, coach of the year, and Cody Tool executive. So uh, looking at the all NBA teams, I'm not sure we'll have anybody, but I'll check just in case. Um, no Zion. Oh, Zion does make an all NBA 13, which is cool. An offensive first team. 
an all defensive second team. Miles Turner is getting snubbed every year on these all defensive teams. Should be on one this year. I believe he's averaging four blocks per game right now in real life. So, uh, player stats 31 points from Zion Williamson, 11 rebounds, 24 from Brandon Ingram. And they got Kara Lewis with 14, Nikel with 11, Miles Turner with 11. When you look at the spacing around these guys, so Luke Kennard 46%, Duncan Robinson 46%, Brandon Ingram 42, Kara Lewis 38, Nikel 36. Miles Turner 36, Jalen Stuck's 30. So, I mean, yeah, the spacing is a little bit better than it was, which is what we wanted. So, I'm definitely happy with that. So, now, looking into it, we are playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who are a young team themselves. And this is the rotation we did go with. We had Kara Lewis, uh, Nikel, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Miles Turner, Jackson Hayes, Duncan Robinson, Jalen Suggs, Luke Kennard. And, yeah, so definitely very ecstatic about how our season went. But see when in game one against the Grizzlies, they do end up winning it. So, we got a Zion versus Jaw series. I'm pretty sure everybody would want to watch that. So we even it up though. Good, good, good. And now we're up two to one. Can we go up three to one here? It is an even series. Three to two lead for us. And we beat them in six. We're on to the second round. We do end up beating the Memphis Grizzlies. Who do have John Morant, Mark Soldiers, Jaron Jackson, Jonas Valanciunas. But now we're playing the Los Angeles Lakers. Who are a top, obviously, contender in the West. Who just went 66 and 16. So I'm not really sure how much I like our odds here. But Al Williamson, KCP, LeBron, AD, Montrez, Harold, Brooke Lopez... Talon Horton Tucker, Archie Ward, George Snang, and Jakar Sampson. So, I mean, outside of LeBron and AD, this team isn't that great. So, I think we could maybe do something here. But, same in game one, they ended up winning it. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to them as well. And we're probably going to get, nope, three to one. Can we, okay, so we get eliminated in five games. So, we once again get eliminated in five to the Los Angeles Lakers, which eventually LeBron James will be gone or he will just be too old or whatever it may be that we will find, we will eventually get past him as the Los Angeles Lakers, Lakers going to win the championship this time around. So I feel like this offseason, though, we don't have a lot of work to do. I mean, though, I kind of like the roster we put together. It's just a matter of letting the team grow together, and I feel like we'll be back where we were and possibly even better. But we might have a lottery pick here via some first-round pick from somebody but it's not looking like it, so that's okay. So, um, but as far as first round picks in general, um, I don't really see. We have the 23rd pick, and I think that's it, I believe. So, only the 23rd pick in the draft. Stan Van Gundy, um, I think I'm gonna fire your coaching staff now. You didn't really do anything wrong, but I just, I just kind of want to fire you. So, um, Greg Popovich, Steven, we got Billy Donovan, Mike D'Antoni, Jacob Underwood, Trent Peterson, um, we got Jesse Mermise, uh, J Johnny Bryant. Frank Vogel, uh, Primer centric. Why not? Let's bring Frank Vogel into uh, New Orleans if we want to. So Frank Vogel and Trent Peterson. And I'll also grab Jesse. And boom. So we got a new coaching staff to kind of lead this team into the right direction. So boom. Frank Vogel, welcome to the team. Which probably the Los Angeles Lakers head coach. Now he is coming on to help us win a championship. So 23rd pick. Got a lot going on here as far as salary. So we are paying quite a bit of players, but that's fine. So I'm um, going into rookie signing. I'll probably let the CPU deal with whoever they want. They take Aminu Mohammed. So welcome to the roster. Uh, player options, we're bringing everyone back, of course. Qualifying offers, nothing going on. And then as far as free agency is concerned, I don't know when you Gabriel's a free agent. And I mean, we do have some cast space. We could sign another shooter or something like that if we wanted to. So maybe I uh, definitely entertain the idea. But when we look at our full man rotation, Kara Lewis... Jalen Suggs, Duncan Robinson, Nikel, uh, Brandon Ingram, Luke Kennard, Zion, and then Miles Turner and Jackson Hayes. So, I mean, we pretty much have a really good roster already. So, I probably won't touch anything. I kind of want to just see what this team will do together in season number two and kind of what havoc will cause. So, hopefully, we'll be back on top like we were. Player progression, Zion, 93. Brandon Ingram, yeah, Miles Turner, 83. Jackson Hayes, Kara Lewis. And like I said, hopefully with the player progression, we have an even better season in season number three. Season number three, as we won over 60 games in our six, yeah, we won six, we went 64 and 18 with Frank Vogel as the head coach. So Sean Augustine, I guess that's me, right? Kind of look alike. All right, here we go. All NBA first team, Luca, Trey Young, LeBron, AD, Joel Embiid. All NBA second team, we have Kyrie, LaMelo, Giannis, Jason Tatum, Jokic, and then... Uh, I don't think I saw Zion making it. Okay, that's fine. So looking at the roster now, 64 and 18, the rotation was really the same, honestly. So 28 points from Zion, 21 from Brandon Ingram, Kara Lewis Jr. with 16, and Nikel with 13. So a lot of guys contributing, and look at the spacing around Zion. Awesome, man. 39%, 40%, 46, 40. We have 
Miles Turner, 35 still. Jackson Hayes even shooting some threes, 20%. Duncan Robinson, 49. Luke Kennard, 44. This is the kind of roster you put around Zion. You put spacing around the man. And, so, you know, good things will happen. And now we're playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who we did knock out last year. And the Los Angeles Lakers aren't even here, bro. The team that's been eliminating us the last few years isn't even in the playoffs. LeBron and AD didn't even make the playoffs, man. Imagine that. All right, here we go. Simulating current round against the Grizzlies. And we beat them in five. So good start. And now we're playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, who we beat in the very first season. Carly Towns, DeAndre Russell, Anthony Edwards. The, Memphis, the Timberwolves are kind of a mess right now, too. I know they've had some injuries, but they are a definitely a mess. So they're a rebuild I want to do soon as well. But tomorrow, I think I want to trade Bradley Beal from the Wizards. It's going to be freeing Bradley Beal video, I think, tomorrow. So simulating current round against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And we're down three to one. That's not good. All right, let's... uh. Let's not, let's not let's not let's not play around here. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what's going on, but let's come back three to one because there's no reason we lose to this team. So we are going to win this one. 36 to 15 from Zion. So let's let's make this comeback now in Minnesota. Let's win this one and bring this back to New Orleans and just absolutely obliterate them. Okay, so that's uh, that's good. All right, so we beat them here 144 to 124. So all we had to do was fix the rotation and game seven should be the same i'd like to hope hopefully we don't just come back and blow it 42 points in the first quarter come on gg right ggs let's go 114 to 130 kilos 29 and 8 shot 7 of 9 from 3 awesome 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 and now we're playing the denver nuggets who are a very good team in their own right jamal murray rj porter ball ball nicola Jokic. look at all the projects they've taken on guys that people were concerned about coming into the league rj porter ball ball all starting for them now all starting all right here we go game one Goes to us. Good start. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. We even or we are up three to one now, and we beat them in five. And now we're going on to play the Boston Celtics, who are a good team in their own right. Obviously, Kemba, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, Jalen Brunson, Marcus Smart, and his Cantor. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to us, though. Game four goes to them. Come on, man. Three two lead for us. Can we go on to win a championship here in TD Garden, or are we going to have to bring this back home? Hopefully, we take care of business here, and we end up winning a ring here. Come on, man. Let's do it in Boston. Let's celebrate a championship on their home floor, and it's not looking like it. We're going to have to bring this home and win it. So, 104-118 to 118 in New Orleans, man. This is where we win this championship. Come on, man. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Game seven in New Orleans. It is a very close game, but we end up running away with it as we are absolutely blowing them out in the fourth quarter. And the New Orleans Pelicans are going to go on to win this championship. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave it a like if you did. But for now, this is Crushables. I'll let you guys watch the championship celebration if you want to stick around for it. And I'm saying, peace.